esteemed member of the Ring of Honor Board of Directors and the Keenan Ivory Wayans oh. of AEW, oh, Mr. Stokely Hathaway. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And damn, you wore heels again. Oh. I got to let these legs pop, you know? Got to put How the lifts How you feeling in. tonight? I was great until you had on them heels. My self-esteem is taking I'm a little sorry. hit, but aside from that, I'm, I'm fantastic. I'm sorry, but listen, we've got a great show for you guys tonight here on Z uh, Zero Hour. Plenty of action about to kick things off and, of course, on the pay-per-view. But how do people watch? Well, if you're in the United States like we are, you can watch Full Gear on Bleacher Report. You can watch it in demand through traditional cable and satellite providers. Mm -hmm. You can also watch it at select movie theaters, select Dave and Busters, and select... Tom's Watch Bars. Oh. But if now, you're not in the United States. Yes, internationally, you can watch at fight.tv, ppv.com, as well as YouTube. Don't miss out on any of the action. Like I said, it's all about to kick off right here on Zero Hour. Eddie Kingston will be defending his Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship against the man who claims to be the franchise of Ring of Honor, Jay Lethal. Here we have Buddy Matthews versus Claudio Castagnoli, and Claudio wants to avenge Willa Yuda's, Willa Yuda's loss to Buddy Matthews last night. And an interesting duo here vying with the Ring of Honor tag team titles on the line. MJF teaming up with Samoa Joe to be taking on the guns. Now once we get over to pay-per-view, plenty more action. A much anticipated rematch. Orange Cassidy defends his international championship against the man who beat him for it, John Moxley. We have the Golden Jets versus the Young Bucks. And if Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega win, they will receive a guaranteed shot at the AEW Tag Team Championships. But if they lose, they will never be able to tag again. Now, I don't know if this match could possibly get any more personal. Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland, this time in a Texas death match. And then the Megazord Tag Team of Sting, Darby Allen, and Adam Copeland looked to topple the patriarchy of Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Nick Wayne. And this is going to be a banger. We have a three-way match for the TBS Championship. Chris Stanlander versus Julia Hart versus Sky Blue. More women's action coming our way. The AEW Women's Championship on the line. Hikaru Shida, three-time champion, taking on the timeless Tony Storm. And then the AEW Tag Team Championships will be hoisted high above the ring as LFI, FTR, and the Kings of the Black Throne look to snatch them from Ricky Starks and Big and, Bill. And we have the announcement of AEW's blockbuster signing. It could be Britney Spears. It could be Soulja Boy. It's a Tony Khan announcement. Who the hell knows? <laughs> Now, tonight's main event, will we see a new undisputed world champion tonight? Arguably the toughest challenge to MJF's gold as he takes on the switchblade, Jay White. Ever since I can remember, all I've ever wanted to be is a world champion. And I am proud to say that I have made it to the mountaintop of professional wrestling. Because nobody is on the level of the devil. Well, Mr. Devil, you try to prove that you are a truly elite champion and you will fail. Jay White stole that belt, trying to prove to himself that he's championship material. He's already brainwashed him into thinking that he's worthy of being champion. He's trying to make them think that MJF, his name should be mentioned in the same breath as J-A-Y. And as I look down upon this mountain, I see men climbing with the only intention to shove me off the top. Anybody is associated with MJF, they could be in jeopardy. They could be a target. But you better send a whole damn army to get my ass to come down! You're not these people's hero. You aren't their scumbag, Max! MJF's past here in AEW has finally caught up with him. He is all alone. And if you ain't dead with that, I got two words for you. We are going to have a capacity crowd here tonight at the Kia Forum for that main event, MJF versus the Switchblade, Jay White for the AEW World Championship. So much to get in here to tonight. Why is Jay White such a threat to MJF? He's finally gotten inside of MJF's head. He took the big Burberry belt. He pinned MJF, and then he did it again unofficially. But still, I think the champ is finally rattled. But you know what? I think it's also the prestige of Jay White and what he 
brings here to AEW, what he is as a champion. We've seen him as a Grand Slam champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, and I think for him to have that championship gold here, yes, he's been holding on to it as of late, but tonight he could be become the undisputed champion. Uh, yeah. Stoke, talk to me about this devil. Uh, Who do you I, think it is? MJF claims it is not him. He has nothing to do with it. What are your thoughts? I feel like you might have the inside scoop. I mean, listen, it could be anybody because everyone hates MJF. And, like, I'll put it to you like this. As far as who who may win this match, who should win this match, in the words of uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, I just pray that Jay White puts this boy to sleep for good. Who do you think is going to walk away the world champion? Well, MJF has never dealt with the devil like this. MJF also has a tag team championship match yes. on Zero Hour. I with think maybe with Joe as his partner, however that's going to yeah. shake out. I don't think it's going to go so well. I'm picking <laughs> Jay White. Fair enough. I actually kind of want to jump on this bandwagon okay. myself tonight. Wow, it we agree for happen. once. Okay. Tonight okay. might be the night. Mm. All right, guys, we go from the AEW World Championship on over to the International Championship. The man that he has never defeated, the man inside his head. Orange Cassidy will have to put it all up, hold on tight to his international title because John Moxley has gold in his eyes. Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley for the international title. Expect a beating. I get the sense that John Moxley, he's out not just to regain the AEW International Championship, but I think he's out to destroy Orange Cassidy. I full gear. I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life in my very hand. I know that John will do whatever he has to do to get that title back. You are the only person I have been thinking about since you left me in a pool of my own blood in Chicago after taking my international championship. Orange Cassidy, international champion. Because I need to beat you. I'm gonna grind you into dust. I have to beat you. And there is not a damn thing you can do to stop me. Guys, I feel like we need to talk about the headspace of both of these men. Orange Cassidy has said it himself, it doesn't feel the same this reign as the international champion, the fashion that he won it. Then you look at John Moxley, the fashion that he lost it to Phoenix, what he has been through. Uh, and these are just some of the most hard hitting matches that we've been able to see here in AEW. How can they possibly outdo that? Mm, well, the headspace is that both of them seem to enjoy making the other person bleed. <laughs> that is true. Lest Much we forget, to my yeah, yeah, what yeah. happened it all out? Orange yeah. Cassidy was left in a, in a pool of his own blood, and now he's got the title back, sure, but he's missing one piece of that puzzle. He needs to beat Mox. So yes. talk to me about the dangers of John Moxley. I could rattle them all off, but I'm going to try to remain a little bit unbiased on this. You talk to me about it. I mean, there are a few people that I am scared of in this company, and I would say John Moxley is number one. He is unpredictable. He is a loose cannon. The fact that uh, you two have history is like a little wild to me. A lot of history. But he's willing to do anything <laughs> to win this championship back tonight. And that's what separates him versus Orange Cassidy. Because I don't think Orange Cassidy could reach that deep to get what he wants. Well, wow. now for Orange Cassidy, I mean, look, we've got to talk about the championship reign that he had to start things off. I mean, 30-plus title defenses. Mm -hmm. He put his body through absolute hell to cement himself as a professional wrestler that I think that we all regard in a different light at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is John Moxley that we're talking about, the man that he has never beaten, the man that has stole the title, it's not stole, mm -hmm. defeated him cleanly mm -hmm. for that title. Yeah. Uh, what do you think Orange's prep has been for this? <laughs> He's about to lay it all on the line again. Let's not forget that Grand Slam, Moxley lost the title very suddenly, mm -hmm. very quickly. He can be beaten. But can Orange Cassidy do it tonight? We will find that out tonight. But listen, we've got some women's action here still. Yes, yeah. we do. The Hollywood homecoming. Tony Storm challenges Hikaru Shida. Fasting your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. I'm timeless. The world may love her now, but will she ever love herself until she reclaims what she has lost? I understand how she feels, but even after losing at Wembley, I continue to believe I could do more. The first ever three-time AEW Women's World Champion. I was meant to walk into Wembley Stadium with that title, and then you happened. I've done movies, I've done TV shows, and 
no one act like this. Third time in a row, she has stole the spotlight from the world champion. The Karashita, she has had enough of timeless Tony Storm. The Karashita, she's beaten Tony Storm before, but she's never faced this version of Tony Storm before. Tony, no more games. It's time to finish it at full gear. Let's fight. I got to defer to you on this one. Please. You seem very near and dear to everything that is going on with Tony Storm right now. Talk to me about this version of Timeless Tony Storm. How did this all kind of happen? There's no yeah. version. This has been like a butterfly coming out of the cocoon. A chrysalis. She, she was always, nice word, she was always a fantastic wrestler, but, but then she realized what she's about. She is about the spotlight, and having that spotlight without any gold doesn't make any sense in her mind. And listen, all of the glitz and the glamour that come with Tony Storm, you already talked about it, just a level of competitor mm. that she is. But that being said, we've got Hikaru Shida on the other side, who is the current champion, yes. three-time champion. She is very dangerous, bell to bell. Yes, yes. And I think I think Sheeta has the advantage in this one. I mean, Tony Storm is like if Judy Garland hopped into a DeLorean and landed <laughs> into 2023. So, you know, I like me some timeless Tony Storm, but I think Sheeta has this one. Do you think that we're going to see a new champion tonight? Well, Judy Garland had a very bitter, bitter end, and I'm not going to get into what the oh. studio did to her, but I think Tony Storm's going to avoid that. People are drawn into her orbit, like Luther, mm -hmm. like Mariah May, like me. You! Quite frankly, yes. she is home, and all I have to say is welcome home, Tony. <laughs> More women's action that is happening here tonight. The TBS title is on the line. That target on the back of Chris Statlander against Julia Hart in Sky Blue. I mean, you look at these women, what this matchup is going to look like. I mean, what is going on with Sky Blue? Has anybody been able to pin down exactly what is happening with Sky Blue right now? Between her and Julia Hart, there's a lot of magic mystery happening. Yeah. yeah. No one has been able to pin it. I don't even think Sky Blue knows what's going to go on. All I can say is that woman has an odd childhood. She lit a kid on fire, okay? She told Wild. me to my, yes, that's not a gal you and mess nothing with. nothing happened. She's still around. It Scott Free. No bizarre. probation, no jail, no nothing. It's crazy. Nothing. Yeah. It's a little bit bizarre, but look at Chris Statlander. I mean, let's talk for a minute about her as a champion. Mm -hmm. This is why the target is firmly placed on her back. She's an incredible competitor. You look at the strength, the build of her, who she is, a fan favorite, mm -hmm. hands down. Never mind. Let's look at the statistics. Talk okay. to me. 17 me matches this year, undefeated, okay. 16 times. Title reigns 174 days as TBS champion, wow. and she's taken on everybody who wants to step in her path. Wow, she you've been on cage match, brother. I like that. I did my work. Studying. Yeah. Who do you guys think is going to walk away tonight with the TBS championship? I, I hate to say it. I, this is going to pay me. It's going to bother mm. me all night. But I got to say, say it. Say it. Chris Statlander. She's mm. going to retain. I think she has to. RJ. I don't know. Because Julia Hart looks like she pulls a lot of strings. That and is that true. would put the champion at a big disadvantage. Well, we're going to find out here mm -hmm. tonight. But hear me out on this one. We've got a ladder match of tag titles quite literally hanging in the balance. One of the most grueling stipulations, the ladder match. We've got eight men, tons of relentless steel, and two world titles. Could find a new home tonight. We went out there tonight with the best tag team in the world, and we whooped their ass. Our road to the AEW World Tag Team Championships for a third time starts now. Listen to me, AEW. We will take whatever we want. Perhaps we have not been uh, direct enough. Big Bad Brody King running after their Ten-time World Tag Team Champion, seven-star FTR, there's only one. La Pasión Ingobernable! Tony's a fair man. And since Big Bill is the tallest guy here, I am selecting a ladder match. It's got wild out here, it's crazy! The enemy of our enemy is now also our enemy. I'm going to tell you like this, it's going to end with me and Big Bill remaining the AEW Tag Team Champions. All right, guys, talk to me. The champions were able to choose a stipulation for this match, went ahead and chose the ladder match mm. in a 
four-way matchup yeah. for the tag titles. This is a lot of bodies, a lot of room for error. Mm -hmm. We know how unforgiving ladder matches can be to somebody's entire career. Why would Ricky Starks pick the stipulation? Well, Any well, ideas? Me, well, let me just say, Ricky Starks is a genius. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because he has Big Bill <laughs> by his side, and Bill is a tall brother, so he's just going to take okay. one step, grab those championships, and get right back to the ring. All right, really quickly, when we look at these four teams, and here's going to walk away with these tag titles. Every week I go, what is Ricky Starks thinking? I finally figured it out. All these people hate each other. Ricky just wants to watch them crash and burn off the top of a ladder. Like Smart that. man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I'm going to go with uh, Ricky and Big Bill. All right, I like it. I mean, we could see FTR as a first-time, three-time champs, and I Whoa. would like to see that. But, guys, listen, there's a QR code on the screen right now. You can scan that to order the pay-per-view because the time is winding down. You do not want to miss this match. No, because the father of the year, TNT champion, Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Nick Wayne look to cause an early retirement for Sting, Darby Allen, and Adam Copeland. The whole idea in coming here was to end my career with Christian Cage. The rated R superstar is in AEW. For 40 years, you and I have been best friends. Let's end our careers together as a team. I'm not going to fight him. Go f yourself. This is my moment. This is your moment. I want to share it with you. Distracts me that I don't belong. My very last match, Revolution 2024. It's obvious that this situation isn't going to go away until I make it go away. I want you gone right now. At full gear, get yourselves a partner. Your retirement is going to come early. I know you came to AEW to ride off in the sunset with your best friend, but that's not the type of world we're living in. You need to open your eyes up. I am going to retire Sting at full gear, whether he likes it or not. Now, Adam, I'd hate for this fairy tale of yours to turn into a nightmare. I'm going to leave you in a wheelchair. I'm going to snap your neck. Sting, Darby, you want a part of a full gear? I'm your man. It is on you, stupid son of a bitch. You want to snap my neck? I am going to beat your ass. Can't you see? Life is but a dream. Stoke, RJ, there's a lot to unpack in this matchup for me to decide where to start. I got to talk about Christian Cage as our TNT champion because mm -hmm. to me, this is perhaps the best run of his career. I mean, I know yeah. he's doing some dastardly stuff, but he is in a sweet spot. I cannot imagine what levels he's going to go to tonight to walk away with a win. He finally found his biggest success by putting all of his feelings and all of <laughs> yeah. his considerations yeah. aside. And I think he's going to continue doing that tonight. And I don't see how Sting can stop him. Well, let's talk about Sting here. I mean, he has announced that this is his final tour, his final run as an mm -hmm. in-ring competitor. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you as a fan of professional wrestling? I mean, I think it's, it's a big deal. It would be like if, like, Lauren Hill was like, you know, I'm done. No mm -hmm. more... No more concerts, no more celebration of the miseducation. So for Great Sting album. to say that he's going to hang it up, I mean, it, it's, you know, people are crying and um, it means a lot. I cannot wait to see this matchup because, I mean, there's just a, a lot of players, a lot of relationships, a lot of deep-rooted history amongst these men. Uh, but listen, while we're talking about some of the greats, we got to talk the tag titles. Uh, we got to talk uh, some of the best tag teams, sorry, in, in the history. Mm -hmm. We've got the Young Bucks taking on the Golden Jets, arguably two of the best of all time. Now, if the Bucks win, the Golden Jets disband forever. If Omega and Jericho win, they get that shot at the AEW World Titles anytime they want. Ready to fight. Let's go. Even though you might be the greatest tag team in the world, I'll give you all the credit for that. I still think that Jericho and Omega can beat you. Let's go. Kenny Omega, our best friend, Chris Jericho versus Matt Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, the best tag team of all time. 
you guys really want to face us, we'll do it. And then maybe you'll clean up your act, and maybe, quite frankly, you'll start acting like a real adults instead of a bunch of sissy, whiny, bitchy children. Some very interesting stipulations in this match. How about when Jericho and Omega beat the Young Bucks at four oh. here? That guaranteed title shot that you're sitting on goes to us. How about when we beat you, because we will, right in the middle, clean as a whistle, Chris. It'll be you specifically. How about this whole Golden Jets thing? That's no more. What shape will Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega be in at full gear when they have to face the Young Bucks with the future of the Golden Jets on the line? I think that we just got to get to this one. Can Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho as a team take out one of the greatest tag teams of all time? Can they do it? I think they can. Yeah, I mean, have you seen Kenny lately? I mean, he looks the way I used to look 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? He is in peak physical condition. So is Chris Jericho. They want to become AEW Tag Team Champions. And the Young Bucks, they've done it already. So Kenny and Jericho, they have that hunger deep inside them. Mm, but let me say okay. this. Whether the Golden Jets win, whether the Young Bucks win, the biggest winner of all is Don Callis. Ooh, Ooh. that's an interesting mm -hmm. point. I mean, I feel like that's something that we kind of forget when we're looking at these greats battle in this matchup. But Don Callis, you know that he's got to be watching from somewhere, have some kind of vested interest in the downfall of Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega. All he wants to do is so chaos, and I think that's definitely what we're going to see tonight. Messy, messy, messy. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen? Are we going to see the Golden Jets disband, or are they going to get that future opportunity at the AEW World Tag Team titles whenever they want you can't bet against the bucks it's the tag team match they are the tag team probably forever and always you don't bet against i them. feel like if you were to bet against them though this is a pretty strong team yeah i mean i gotta go with the jets i'm sorry you're sticking with right. the bucks yeah, yeah. oh you're yeah what a hot take here. that is i'm sticking you with the young bucks excuse bug. me pardon me everyone <laughs> Just, there's a lot at stake. I mean, I feel like the Golden Jets are just kind of getting cooking here. I do not want to see this team disband. I want to see where they can kind of go with this. What I feel like stirring? the future is looking I'm bright cooking. for these two. Right. Cooking. A cooking. Soup, I'm some cooking some uh, SpaghettiOs, bro. Nice. You want some? Congrats. Enjoy the Thank sodium. You. A reminder to you guys, there's a QR code on the screen right now. You guys can scan that. It'll let you get, way, get ready for the pay-per-view because we are moments away from going live with full gear. I cannot wait for this. And a big bloody moment. Is Swerve's house truly here? Or will he be about to be served an eviction notice in a Texas death match against Hangman Adam Page? You couldn't leave well enough alone after I beat you at Wrestle Dream Hot. That boy Swerve's going, he's hanging oh! out! What was that? Not a crowd driven to the face of Hangman Page. You could have challenged for the World Championship, but what you decided to do instead is the biggest mistake that you have made in your sad, pathetic life. It's not always you that pays for your actions. Whose house? It's your loved ones that do. Swerve, when you open the door and you cross the threshold into my home, you step through the gates of hell. I was at your house. You should have never <laughs> come into my house. Because at full gear, you've got the hangman in a Texas death match. You don't want to go to war with someone who gives less of a damn than you do. And nobody cares less about life than me. Not only are you not the man you think you are, you are not a man at all. You are a child. And I will take you to spend an eternity in Swerve's house at the bottom of hell. I am your judge. I am jury and i am your executioner and we can talk about how personal this matchup is and we can get to that and when you even see on thursday night a pro wrestling revolver it's still even spilled out of the ring and into another one i mean these guys are out for blood at this point yeah i mean it's pure hatred swerve broke into this man's house was cooking catfish and making fun of him in front of his entire family. That is true hate right there. So, Listen, you know. I will say this. I mean, as a mother, as uh, my husband being a father, if somebody did that to us, I could not imagine the level of violence that that would elicit from somebody. Yes, so for Hangman to be walking into this, choosing this Texas death match, yes. I mean, talk to me about the history of Hangman. Invented in the, in the 1960s okay. by oh. Dory Funk Sr. A couple of these matches lasted hours and hours, and the Athletic Commission would have to shut it down. Wow. You win by knocking your opponent out, 
or by submission. Beyond that, whatever you fellas want. And it looks like Adam Page has a lot he wants to do. Do you think, what do you think of this version of Hangman? I think this version of Hangman is the version that people have wanted to see for a very long time. The aggression, the focus. Mm -hmm. Like, he wants to get back to the top by any means necessary. Certainly. But we forget, because Swerve, he's got his rap music, he's got Nana swerving. Yeah, yeah. That's a man who broke Billy Gunn's fingers. Yes. Okay? That's, That's a true. man who invaded yes. Nick Wayne's home gym. He is a brutal, dastardly, evil man, and he's going to show it again tonight. Dare I say this might be the match I'm most excited for tonight? Excited? I'm horrified. <laughs> I have a pension for listings now. I like I'll it. Say. It's where I'm at. Guys, we are moments away. Full gear is coming up again. Scan that QR code. That's where you guys can get access to the pay-per-view to buy that. But we've got action coming up here in moments on Zero. Where do we have? A battle is brewing between the House of Black and the Combat Club as Buddy Matthews looks to stop the swinging of Claudio Castagnoli. And this is for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships. We have MJF and Samoa Joe versus the Guns. Now, Eddie Kingston and Jay Lethal. These two men have known each other virtually their entire careers. But tonight they meet with the Ring of Honor World Championship on the line. Who's going to walk away the winner? We'll find out soon. I hate Eddie Kingston's guts. You are no champion. My body may be here, but my soul still rests within that Ring of Honor World Championship. I need it back because you are destroying a legacy. The thing that's gonna hurt me inside the most is the fact that I'm gonna have to beat you down in front of your beautiful mother. And you know what the sick thing is? She's gonna cry for you, but not because I'm beating you, because she knows you deserve it. If I don't strip you of the Ring of Honor World Championship, if I don't take back the Ring of Honor World Championship, not only do I lose my soul, but Ring of Honor is dead. I used to respect you, Jay, but now look what you've become. Get your title shot, but you better find your way before you come at me again. Find your way. It's, is it possible that Eddie Kingston just kind of keeps getting better and better as he evolves into the wrestler that he is, the champion mm -hmm. that he is as the Ring of Honor World Champion? Of course, he is also the New Japan Strong Open Weight Champion. Yes. But to put it all in line against Jay Lethal, these guys have known each other for 15 years. You know, I got to be a part of the chaos that all went down last night on Rampage. Mm -hmm. It's... What's going to happen with Jay Lethal? Because you know he's got all of his hooligans coming out here with him. There's no way that... It's some nonsense. Hooligans? I, I, I think it's kind of a fair fight. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, who really thinks that Eddie Kingston has been a great Ring of Honor world champion? I personally got to go with Jay Lethal. And you know what Kingston told him? He said he wanted the old Jay Lethal, the Lethal with the braids, the Lethal, the lethal who was sipping Cavarcier. Jay Lethal is going to walk out champion. You're not buying this. Uh, a little bit. What? A little Come bit. On. I'm a Jericho. All right, guys, we are getting to it. This is how you guys can watch mm. Full Gear. Let the people know. If you're in the United States, you can watch it on Bleacher Report. You can watch it in demand for traditional cable and satellite providers and also select movie theaters, Dave & Buster's, and Tom's Watch Bar. Sure. Now, if you are international, you can watch it at fight.tv, ppv.com, and YouTube. All of the action is about to get underway here at the Kia Forum mm. in Hollywood, California. This is the best professional wrestling in the world and it is all starting right now. This is Full Gear with All Elite Wrestling.
Live from the Kia Forum in Los Angeles, AEW presents Full Gear Zero Hour. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fabulous Kia Forum in Los Angeles, California. This capacity crowd still filing in. I am Excalibur, joined by Tony Schiavone, Nigel McGinnis, and we are going to kick things off with some in-ring action here on Zero Hour. Let's go to the in-ring voice of Ring of Honor, Bobby Cruz. Your opening contest for Full Gear Zero Hour is set for one fall, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Tony Schiavone, I don't know if you noticed, but that was a lot of rings in the first 10 seconds of that program. <laughs> yes, it was. And of course, we welcome uh, to our broadcast position uh, from the Ring of Honor Board of Directors, Stokely Hathaway. And why are you saying that way? Well, that's because. Introducing well, first the challenger. Did I say it the wrong way? Son, Jay Dutt, Jeff Jarrett, Karen Jarrett, and Tottenham Singh. Russ got to be Elizabeth, New Jersey. Weighing 223 pounds. We go! Stokely, yes, sir. I, I, I said it that way because you are on the board of directors. I say it in a way that offended you. I'm yes, sorry. there was a hint of disdain in your voice. You got to put some umph in it, like Jack and Ed said. You know what I'm saying? You got to be excited that I'm here. Okay. Excalibur's excited. Nigel's excited. Nigel, you want to take a crack at it? I'm reasonably excited, certainly, Mr. This Hathaway. Here's the champ, Go Bobby! Now I'm getting excited. <laughs> 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 New York, weighing 242 pounds. He is the new Japan Strong Open Weight Champion and the defending Ring of Honor World Champion, Eddie Kingston. Stokely Hathaway, this is the man that represents the brand. He carries the banner of Ring of Honor, and I see that it eats at you. I hate it. I'm pissed off to the highest level of pissivity every time I see this man, and it makes me sick. Care to elaborate on why? He's Eddie Kingston. He's rude. He's disrespectful. He doesn't shake my hand when I see him. So, of course, of course I'm mad. Well, Nigel, the yeah. issue of respect is one that weighs heavy on the mind of Eddie Kingston. He's somebody that's known Jay Lethal for almost the entirety of their respective careers, and he says the Jay Lethal that is competing today is not the same Jay Lethal that held the Ring of Honor World Championship. Well, there's certainly something to that. Jay Lethal has associated himself with everyone from Son Jay all the way to Karen Jarrett, as you can see them all on the outside there. So a different Jay Lethal of sorts, but that does not mean he is not capable of taking the prestigious Ring of Honor title from Eddie Kingston. Yeah, no matter who Jay Lethal associates himself with today, he's still an incredible professional wrestler at his core. Thank you, Excel. Taking Kingston down with a shoulder tackle and right back into the side headlock, Tony. One could say that since Stokely, who is a big time member of the ROH Board of Directors, since you hate Eddie Kingston so much, one could say that you would attempt to stack the deck against him. No, I, 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 I don't think anybody would say that. I, I am a reputable businessman. You know what I'm saying? Like, who told you that? Who well, said that? no one said that. I was thinking that. It is unlike a member of the board of directors to hate a champion so much. Well, I don't think you should be thinking, Tony. I think you just, you should be talking. How about that? Eddie. Sometimes Tony he does uh, forget to think. Eddie Kingston reverses the hammer throw, back elbow, followed up by the sweep. Kingston to a pinning predicament, only but a one count. He does have a point, though, Stokely. If you are on the board of directors, you do have to be objective when it comes to everybody in Ring of Honor. No, no. I, no. I, I'm not biased at all. Uh -huh. Listen, this is a one-on-one -on -one match. If I was biased, I would have had everyone on the outside in the ring with Ooh. Kingston, right? Huh? I don't hear nobody, right? Well, I saw you give uh, that sniveling termite Sanjay Dutt a high five when he came out. No, he's, um, he, uh, he you dropped the tic-tac. Yeah, yeah, uh, he uh, dropped the tic-tac. Yeah, sure, sure thing, you sure know, thing. Pick it up, you know, Good back in his hand. You're a, you're a gentleman. Fans, we are yes. just under an hour away from Full Gear Live on pay-per-view. Bleacher Report, fight.tv, ppb.com, YouTube, so many ways to join us for Full Gear as Kingston fires in a heavy-handed chop. No question, Kingston, one of the most authentic and engaging characters on the brand. Almost impossible not to believe and be drawn into every word this man says. Authentic? What? I thought we were talking about DMX and Mob Deep when really backstage he's listening to, like, Taylor Swift. 
He's listening to anime soundtrack. Now he's going to watch this back. back, Stokely. He's going to watch this back, so I'd watch your words. Oh, I mean, <laughs> he's a good dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that good dude just got sent head first into the steel ring post by the challenger, Jay Lethal. Now, this is a big ROH title match, there's no question. And this is just the tip of the iceberg tonight. Yeah, the first of two here on Zero Hour. MJF will look to defend the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. Samoa Joe stepping in for wow. one night only on the contingency that MJF Grant Joe a shot at the AEW World Championship. We see Jeff Jarrett, I believe, involved in some uh, extracurriculars there. Taking his own shot when the official was turned the other way. Uh -uh. I saw a roach we are. in LA. I saw a roach, and Jeff was trying to stop it out. Wow. Jackie Fargo rolling over in his grave. Even Sutton of Singh getting involved in that. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of ridiculous stuff here. Are you talking about Sutton Suit? I agree. Uh, he got that from Suit City. Stop. Well, MJF and Samoa Joe will be taking on the guns tonight on Zero Hour, plus a match that was made last night on Collision. Buddy Matthews in the House of Black oh, yeah. taking on Claudio Castagnoli, the Blackpool Combat Club, and Sanjay Dutt. <laughs> This is a four-on-one handicap match, and as a member of the board of directors, Stokely Hathaway, you're sitting here watching this all go on. I'm going to have a talk with them afterwards, a very stern conversation. Okay. Never do this again. But you're going to allow it to continue. I mean, what can I do? I'm, I'm doing my Come job. On, I'm so doing you've got to admit, you've always had a chip on your shoulder based on the success of your sister, Anne. Wow. I mean, I mean she's adopted, so... Snap suplex by Jay Lethal. Lateral press. Kingston able to kick out. She was great in Les Mis. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. She wouldn't give me no money huh? from it. Blame her. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Oh, boy, Jay Lethal knows how to just assemble a person, doesn't he? That's why he is the future Ring of Honor world champion. Look at this guy. Yeah. They said Eddie Kingston was no champion. But Kingston was destroying the legacy of the Ring of Honor title. And he said, if he doesn't reclaim the title, he'd not only lose his soul, but ROH is dead. But, Nigel, how could that possibly be the case? Eddie Kingston, not only Ring of Honor world champion, winning the title back at, at Grand Slam, but also the New Japan Strong Openweight champion. I mean, he's he's carrying the torch of, of two different brands, two different professional, professional wrestling promotions here tonight. A lot of pressure on Kingston, certainly. But oh! Beautiful overhead belly to belly suplex. I know you shocked that either, Tony. You're going to take your job, Excalibur. Thank you. Thank hey, you. I'm comfortable with Okay. All, right. All uh, them YouTube best of moves, you know what I'm saying? Like, it adds up. All right now, lethal enduring cover. The leg is hooked. You got to say, though, haven't you? Jay Lethal, one of the Mount Rushmore performers in Ring of Honor. First Grand Slam champion. It was called the franchise and wrestler of the decade, the longest combined reign as Ring of Honor champion. Impressive statistics. Yes, sir, over 700 days. And I want to let fans know we, we saw a couple of fans uh, getting to their seats at ringside right behind Karen Jarrett there. Yes, they are still filing in here. We've got a capacity crowd set for the Kia Forum here. Tell them. Yeah. Tell them why you mad, son. Give Tell them why you mad. Hey, shut, shut up. Tell him why you mad. Shut up. You what you say? Don't, don't curse. Whoa, don't wait. curse. Don't curse. I Giovanni, it's YouTube. You can't, you can't say the F word. Yeah, okay. I write well, you I didn't. Anyway, capacity crowd. I'm looking around. They're filling up everywhere. It's going to be a grand night. When we go to the top of the hour, you see about 51 plus minutes to go before full gear, guys. That's right. You still have a chance to join us on pay-per-view through traditional cable and satellite providers, Bleacher Report. Internationally on Fight TV, PPV.com is Kingston withering after that shot. Oh. Couldn't fire one back, but managed to get one finger up. Oof. Whoa. Holy smokes. Like the crack of a whip. Lethal is taking it out of Kingston, chop by chop. He's going for the lethal. No, I thought he was going to go for the lethal nope. injection. He He's thinking Lariat. Kingston chops it. Down! Oh! Exploder! Come on, Lethal! Taking a page out of Yunakiyama's book, who he beat earlier this year. Another look if we can. Look at the awkward landing of the former Ring of Honor champion, Jay Lethal. Yeah. High angle, back of the neck, top of the shoulders. Lethal crashing down. Kingston buying himself a bit of a reprieve, a chance to catch his breath. But Lethal's getting up. That's the most important thing. He's getting up. He's trying to get his bearings back together. Did an awful lot of cheerleading for a member of the board of directors. Those machine gun chops. I ain't got no pom poms, so I ain't 
cheerleading time. Oh. Machine gun chop followed up by the exclamation point there. And now Kingston, the boot scrape, invoking Shinjiro Otani. Now the cover, the far leg is hooked. And lethal able to survive. You know, Nigel, you said exactly right when you called Eddie Kingston the most authentic pro wrestler that we have. I mean, there's, there's, there's no finesse about Eddie. He is just, uh, what you see is what you get. He absolutely is. That's why the fans love him. You know, wrestling has been his absolutely everything. It kept him out of trouble, but it can't help him now. Lethal combination, well executed. And Stokely, a really smile developing on your face. I mean, yeah, I'm having a good time. What's up, Karen? Get this woman out of our face. I'm trying. Got a problem with beautiful women, Tony? No. I have a problem with Karen Jarrett. No, no, I'm not. I am watching. Don't you point at me, lady. She's evil. But lethal perched on yeah, top. But this it, could it, be it. Oh, no. He anticipated. No, but Kingston rolls come over. On, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, oh, lethal. Oh, kick it out. Great job, lethal. The pump kick followed by the NZ Geary. Beautiful. This is a great match, guys. What a way to kick off full gear, zero hour. And the legacy of the ring, I'm on a title proud. There it is. There it is. Drop the elbow across the chest of Kingston. No! Kingston kicks out. Oh, yeah. Nice elbow. What's going on, man? Jeff Jarrett looks on. Of course, it was Jeff Jarrett who earned this title opportunity for Jay Lethal. That's right, beating Eddie Kingston in the street fight in Memphis. Clearing the path for the next challenger for the Ring of Honor World Champion. Now he's looking for it, champion. Tony. He's clearing the path for the yeah, next champion. There it is, lethal injection. Oh, and he got him. Kicks. Come on, lethal. Oh, dead. Saito suplex. Lethal, very unsteady on his feet. Eddie Kingston. He's gonna get back up, though. Kingston. Let's see if he does. He's stealing himself. Come on, come on, come on. And Yes! All right, oh, man. Oh, what is Kingston doing? What's his problem? Oh, man. Lethal and Kingston, both with the same idea. Oh. Both men down a second time with the Lariat. Come on, Lethal. Remember where you are, brother. Come on. You don't have money on this, do you, Stokely? No, I, 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 Not a gambling no, man. No, I, I, no, I, 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 no. No. Oh, look no. at Karen I've been on horses. She is not wrestling. She is a big one. And Sutton, I'm saying now, up on the ring apron. Sutton is, is trying to get Karen down. That's oh, look what at doing. Look, look, look what Lethal's going for. Both men making a desperate crawl for the guitar. And that's exactly why Sutton and Karen Jarrett are up on top. And oh, vicious. It, yeah, just got, grabbing the eye, the, the face of Lethal to prevent him from grasping the guitar. And, oh, Ortiz. What the hell is Ortiz doing? Ortiz hits the guitar. What's he doing? Remember Eddie Kingston's former friend Ortiz? He's been recruited by. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Hell yeah! Somebody need to take Sanjay to medical. That's lethal. Reverse. Now comes back. Lethal injection. Kingston once again counters. Half and half. Lethal sent for a run. Oh, again. He caught him. He caught him. Yeah. Come on. Kingston, it's not over. Run over by a long shot. Nigel, it's Somebody's gonna beat him for that championship. It certainly seems that time may have healed wounds between Eddie Kingston and Ortiz. Potentially, but not between Eddie Kingston and Stokely Hathaway. As a member of the board of directors in Ring of Honor, looks like a tough, tough future for the Ring of Honor champion. Eddie gets a smile to Ortiz, who came in, and they gotta help poor old Sanjay. Out. Eddie Kingston is still the champion, Stokely. Yeah, gotta, whatever. Whatever. You got to reload over there, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a hell of a champion. What you say to me? Look. Oh. And Stokely apoplectic. But Ortiz, a very timely intervention, evening the odds for Eddie Kingston, who remains not only New Japan Strong Open Weight Champion, but Ring of Honor World Champion, much to the chagrin of Stokely Hathaway. Yeah, who's uh, going to fit over here. Uh, conniption? 
a conniption. At the free show, are we on? Welcome to the free show, folks. I guess I don't have to pitch to Renee. We have a lot of shit up next. What's up, Stokely? What, are you going to make a move? A little bullheaded bitch. LA, thank you. Good night. You're right. You're right. He's rattled. You know, that's the first time I haven't been flipped off by Eddie Kingston. I actually feel kind of good. <laughs> Fair enough. Guys, the action continues here as we get set for full gear. The TBS champion, Chris Statlander, Campbell's Big against Julia Hart and Sky Blue in a three-way match. And we've also got the AEW World Women's Championship on the line. Three-time champion Hikaru Shida puts it all on the line against timeless Tony Storm. Then we have the announcement blockbuster signing, which will be incredible. All of the action is continuing here on Zero Hours O'Clock. It's taking down for full gear, and this is how you watch it. Well, if you're in the United States, you can watch it on Bleacher Report, in demand through traditional cable and satellite providers, and also select movie theaters. Dave and Buster's, and my favorite, Tom's Watch Bar. <laughs> now, if you're international, you guys can watch at fight.tv, ppv.com, and YouTube. Because listen, you do not want to miss a second of this show as we are set the stage here for full gear. We've got a ladder match. You know what? This wrestling has not been high enough. I think some people need to climb. The AEW Tag Team Championships are on the line. Four teams in a chaotic match. Now let's talk the International Championship. Orange Cassidy finally has that gold back in his hands. Not sure how long he's gonna hold on to it, because tonight he takes on the man he's never beaten, John Moxley. Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley for the international title. Expect a beating. I get the sense that John Moxley, he's out not just to regain the AEW International Championship, but I think he's out to destroy Orange Cassidy. At full gear, I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life in my very hands. I know that John will do whatever he has to do to get that title back. You are the only person I have been thinking about since you left me in a pool of my own blood in Chicago after taking my international championship. Orange Cassidy, international champion. Because I need to beat you. I'm gonna grind you into dust. I have to beat you. And there is not a damn thing you can do to stop me. Orange Cassidy, John Moxley, part two, all a part of an absolutely loaded pay-per-view broadcast coming your way in just over 40 minutes. Full gear live from right here in Los Angeles, California. You can order it on pay-per-view through traditional cable and satellite providers on Bleach Report, Fight TV, PPV.com, and so many more ways internationally. Nigel, Orange Cassidy, John Moxley, too. Who you got? I've got to go with John Moxley. Orange Cassidy has never beaten him before, and I don't think tonight is going to be the night. So and that's why question. Orange Cassidy will beat him, because he's never beat him before, Sir Nigel. Well, let's see how that goes. Well, Orange Cassidy says his victory, his second reign as AEW International Champion, is incomplete without beating John Moxley. But from one member of the Blackpool Combat Club to another, let's head back to the ring. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Claudio Castagnoli. Less than 24 hours ago, Buddy Matthews and Wheeler Yuta had a great back and forth battle. 
but it was after the bell. Buddy Matthews looked like he was poised to attack Wheeler Yuta. Claudio Castagnoli came to the rescue, Nigel, and he said, if you just wanted, if you wanted to fight, all you had to do was ask. Well, he's got to fight tonight, but you missed a very important part of that story, Excalibur. Earlier in the match, Wheeler Yuta tried to talk Buddy Matthews, offering him his foot, trying to say he was a better wrestler. So, what happened? Matthews beat him in the match and then tried to get some payback afterwards. Yeah, the payback was going for a chair. Going for a chair and trying to take well, Wheeler Yuta out. You don't mess with the House of Black. Well, the House of Black may have bit off a little more than they can chew here tonight. Maybe El Claudio has. And from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 227 pounds, honoring the House of Black, Buddy Matthews. So you guys, Buddy Matthews, as powerful and as strong and as mean as anybody you will find in AEW. I said it before, I think he is pound for pound, one of the greatest hybrid competitors in the world today. His muscularity combined with his athleticism, his explosive offense, almost unstoppable. This is a match I have looked forward to, obviously, ever since it was made last night. And I would pay to watch this. A well, very interesting contrast in the striking styles of Claudio Castagnoli and Buddy Matthews. Claudio favors those uppercuts, the upper body type strikes. Whereas Buddy Matthews, uh, Tony, as a, as a former broadcast partner of yours would say, educated feetsies. <laughs> Educated feetsies, boy, that's a that's a throwback, and he's right. That's exactly what he's got. Brandon Martinez, our referee. Here we go, Excalibur. Both men striding towards the center of the ring, staking their claim here tonight in Los Angeles. Stoic look on the face of Castagnoli. Got Matthews by a couple of inches, but look the aggression of Matthews straight out the gate. Buddy Matthews. Putting those stops to good use. Back of Claudio down in the corner, but you see Claudio up to his feet, and there's the uppercut. Wow. Boom! You I, hear that? Flesh on flesh. I think that outburst by Buddy caught Claudio off guard, but he's coming right back, as you can see. Last time we saw, I saw Castagnoli was that impressive victory over the former UFC champion, Josh Barnett. All the way back last month at Russell Dream, and Claudio thinking giant swing right now. Buddy Matthews escapes very wisely, using the, the lower body strength to push Claudio back to the ropes. I'm surprised he went for that uh, giant swing that early. Oof. Claudio sent into the apron, now into the barricade at ringside. Now look at look at this. Now he's oh, watch out. That almost destroyed our ring bell table. Again, that European uppercut, which was actually made famous by Dory Funk, ooh, in America. And now Claudio with Matthews lined up. And Nigel, walk us through the mechanics of the European uppercut. I mean, it's it's the bi it's not just the bicep that it's colliding with, but if the opponent's mouth is open, I mean, that could be a broken jaw or worse. It certainly can. If you're taking a European uppercut, you see that coming, you better bend over, because if you stand up, it'll skip off your chest, underneath your jaw, and that'll knock you out. Buddy Matthews retreats to the outside. Claudio Here building up ahead again. of steam. Oh, oh, Buddy oh, Matthews! Man. <laughs> what a what collision! That, yeah. <laughs> what a clown! Flying in with that knee strike is Matthews. I think Matthews launched off the steps almost into a, a chop block. My. I have pulled a hamstring, I think, jumping off of the yep. ring steps there. I agree. I, th I think it's it's hurting. Yeah, but he, even at even at 50%, Buddy Matthews, a very dangerous striker. Yeah, sometimes you just work on adrenaline, even if you're banged up, right? And so oh, wow. Meteora rolled Claudio all the way down the cover. Claudio able to kick out. If there is any damage to the hamstring. Matthews pushing forward. And fans, you see the clock at the top of the screen just over 35 minutes away until Full Gear goes live on pay-per-view. Bleacher Report, Fight TV, PPV.com internationally. So many ways to join us. Sky, YouTube.com and select international markets. There is no excuse. 
full gear live at the top of the hour. Right now, trying to sap away some of the energy and the strength of Castagnoli, who was one of the only few men in the world to body slam Paul White. Now, powerhouse Hobbs can be added to that list. Yeah, well, that was incredible what happened. Was it not? To Paul White this past week. And we heard from Don Callis and powerhouse Hobbs last night. I mean, it was confirmed by the AEW medical staff. Paul White ind indefinitely out of action due to the body slam. Yeah, understandably so. And it wasn't just, that. sorry, Tony, it wasn't just a body slam. It was right. a body slam off a pallet onto the hood of a car and the windshield as well. Yeah, I, I think it hit more of the car than it hit the windshield, to be honest with you. Claudio, though, gets back upright, gets his feet underneath him, and comes in. His buddy Matthews into the powerful grip of Claudio Castagnoli. Both men just exchanging. Matthews lands on his feet. Showing no ill effects from that potential leg injury, or Nigel. Yeah, I think perhaps adrenaline now. Mask that pain, but look at that. Yep. This Lariat, you could see Matthews there was trying to get out of the way of the Lariat, but still got driven down somewhat. Now this is every bit of a slugfest, guys, that we anticipated. There you see still to come on Zero Hour. MJF and Samoa Joe together, and that means Samoa Joe is going to get a world title shot should MJF retain tonight against Jay White. Now the guns, Colton and Austin of Bullet Club Gold, Challenging MJF and Samoa Joe. And don't forget the main event for Full Gear, the AEW World Championship match. MJF versus Jay White. Jay White has never been pinned or submitted inside an AEW ring. Will that trend continue tonight here in Los Angeles? There's only one way to find out. Join us for Full Gear live at the top of the hour. There's a QR code right there that you can scan with your phone and get it on Bleacher Report. Full extension on that high boot into the face of Buddy Matthews. Look at the vascularity of Castagnoli. Sinewy. And hold on, we could be seeing it. That's what the fans want. Well, he was going for it. Buddy with those up kicks got away from it. Once again, back in Claudio to the ropes. The up kicks with Claudio now. No. Buddy Matthews twisting. Two and. Claudio able to kick out great anticipation by Matthews, but not right there. That was a hell of a counter by Matthews. Claudio dropped him. The cover. Oh, and Matthews barely avoiding defeat. First time we've really had a, a, a confrontation other than last night between the House of Black and Blackpool Combat Club. Well, Nigel, I mean... 1-0 if you're keeping score. Nigel, you and, you and Tony have been there firsthand we've seen over the last few weeks the house of black just appearing intermittently and attacking indiscriminately yeah well something blackpool combat club been known for in the past as well they have certainly made a mess many times on collision. <laughs> oh, he landed on his feet a man that size and that oh but he's paying for it here with some great kicks by buddy buddy tried to meteor claudio on a swing what a counter Fans cutting right along with the big man. It's an absolutely amazing move, Nigel, that he can even keep his balance well, himself. I, I've been on the receiving end of that. Here we go. The far leg, or the near leg, hooked, and Matthews kicking out. Wow. Relatively few rotations for Castagnoli. He's beaten people with that giant swing before. He's won championships with that giant swing before. As Buddy Matthews struggling to his feet, understandably so. And Claudio, Claudio was pawing at Matthews with those kicks, uh, reminiscent of Wheeler Utah last night, but now Claudio over the wow. top. There you go. Stay. Stomp into the spine, Tony, and now Buddy Matthews in serious trouble. Yeah, and Claudio's going to try to bring him in. Look at Castanoli, not an ounce of body fat on his body. Maybe you could take some tips from him, Tony. Well, He's actually I'm, been getting in great shape. I, I'm, I'm trying, Nigel. No, I, I've been impressed. I have been okay. impressed. I've got to give you your flowers. Buddy Matthews and Claudio Castagnoli jockeying for position. No. Oh. Robles with Claudio hammering down with the headbutt. A second one. Uh, go. Forehead. Great view from the ring post camera as Claudio Castagnoli. As, oh, no, Buddy Matthews. 
Sneaks in. And oh! oh! <laughs> Claudio, the head sandwiched against the turnbuckle pad. Nowhere to go. After repeated headbutts, Claudio's oh. just dangling oh. right now. Three consecutive shots on a beaten. The power bomb, the high stack, and Claudio able to kick out, but Matthews waiting right there. Wow! Jack Hammer! And no! Oh, Claudio kicks up. Beautiful transition into the cross face. Claudio is in the center of the ring. And even with his long legs, that's a long way to the bottom rope. You see Claudio Castagnoli pulling down on the hands of Buddy Matthews, trying to get Matthews' wrist off his nose, trying to free up that breathing. And you talked about the long legs. Claudio swings his hips out. Looked like he was trying to reach for the bottom. Oh, no, the hammer and anvil elbows. Oh. The hallmarks of the Blackpool Combat Club now being employed by a member of the House of Black. It looks like casting Ali's barely moving. Oh, no, oh, ah, still in. It looks like it, it looks like the right side of his head is opened up here as well. One of the kicks in the corner, perhaps. Yeah, maybe so. But, oh, look, look at, at that dead. To the power of Claudio Castagnoli. Impressive every time we see him out into a cutter. Just an incredible deadlift that time. Claudio, yeah, you can see the blood next to the right eye as Claudio accelerates into the uppercut. Matthews. Oh, that's got to do it. Spun for a loop and no, no. Matthews. Momentum off of two ring ropes, two sides with that uppercut. Incredible. Now, Claudio. Re pull up, bomb! Lance Matthews down. Now steps through, maybe thinking sharpshooter. Yes, he is. And those strong, long legs, man, that's trouble for Buddy Matthews, guys. A lot of leverage. And, and Nigel, after that powerbomb, Matthews, I mean, his wits may not even be about him. He may not even realize that he's in this Scorpion Deathlock. Oh, he, he knows he's in it now. I thought he was there for a moment. Life. Matthews got to be careful. He's slamming his hands down in anger. Right. The official might take that as a trap. Good call, but no. Claudio, oh, yes. and that's it. Winner of this match by submission, Claudio Castagnoli. Well, Nigel, to your earlier point, if you're keeping score at home, it's one for the House of Black, one for the Blackpool Combat Club now. The plot thickens. Claudio Castagnoli victorious tonight. Full gear, zero hour. We are less than 30 minutes away from full gear live on pay-per-view. Congratulations to Claudio Castagnoli. We know he's going to be watching our pay-per-view broadcast very closely as his compatriot, John Moxley, goes one-on-one -on -one with freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy for the AEW International Championship. And the same can be said of Buddy Matthews, of course, the House of Black, the chance to become World Tag Team Champions tonight. And apparently, we're not done here in the ring. Are they going to, what are they going to do? I mean, we've been wanting to see the BCC against the House of Black for quite a while. Some tension here. I mean, that was a great sporting contest. It was a hell of a match, guys. It really, oh, man. Matthews declines the handshake. Well, great win by Claudio, guys. Uh, I guess we won't see Matthews in the Blackpool Combat Club anytime soon. But still, Nigel, as you mentioned, a situation worth keeping our eye on. The ongoing tensions between the Blackpool Combat Club and the House of Black. And fans, our partners at DraftKings, they have $25,000 in total prizes up for grabs in free-to-play pool, where you can answer multiple choice questions about the full gear main event between MJF and Switchblade Jay White. You can download the DraftKings app, use code AEW when you sign up and play free tonight during full gear. And right now, fans, you can learn more about the pools with this word from our partners at DraftKings.
DW fans, it's time for you to get in on the action with DraftKings. Just enter a free-to-play pool and answer questions about the match. Get enough correct to win your share of 25,000 in total prizes. Questions like who will get the first oh. submission and who will win the match. Just download the DraftKings app, enter the promo code, and join a free-to-play AEW pool. So get in on the action with DraftKings. Maybe it'll be who gets the chair. We have a capacity crowd here tonight at the Kia Forum as we are setting the stage here for full gear. The clock is ticking down. We are getting down to it. Plenty of action still to come. What a match, Claudio Castagnoli picking up that W. You didn't look so thrilled with that? Uh, I mean, you know, not really a fan of BCC. You know, we got some history uh, with your boy, uh, Mox. So, you know, he, he, he was I. <laughs> All right, let's talk the action that is coming up here tonight. We've got tag team action. One of the best tag teams in history, the Young Bucks, taking on the Golden Jets. If the Golden Jets win, they earn that future opportunity at the AEW tag titles. Bucks win, the Golden Jets disband. Yep, and next we have a Texas death match. Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland. And then this isn't what Adam wanted, but it's what he's going to get. Adam Copeland teams with Darby Allen and Sting to send Christian, Luxusaurus, and Nick Wayne to Daddy Daycare. Ooh. Mm. The whole idea in coming here was to end my career with Christian Cage. Darby, you're nowhere near the man that I am. Strike up the orchestra. Not, not to sting. The rated R superstar is in AEW. I don't really understand what's happened. Eventually, Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus are going to leave him high and dry. And when he hits the ground, I'll be the one to pick him up. For 40 years, you and I have been best friends. It's time. Let's end our careers together as a team. I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to. Go f yourself. This is my moment. This is your moment. I want to share it with you. It strikes me that I don't belong. My very last anymore. match. Revolution 2024. situation isn't gonna go away until I make it go away. I want you gone right now. At full gear, get yourselves a partner. Your retirement is gonna come early. We accept your challenge. I know you came to AEW to ride off in the sunset with your best friend, but that's not the type of world we're living in. Let's kill or be killed here, man. You need to open your eyes up before it's too late. I just don't understand what happened. He's my best friend for 40 years. Fact is, you need me. I don't need you. Because I am, without a doubt, the most talked about star in this business. The true patriarch of AEW. I am their father. You ready to come home, son? Sting and Darby Allen decided to stick their nose in my business. I am going to retire Sting at full gear, whether he likes it or not. Now, Adam, I'd hate for this fairy tale of yours to turn into a nightmare. If you know what's good for you, Adam, you will back down from me right now. Copeland's out, Copeland's out numbered here. I'm going to leave you in a wheelchair. I'm going to snap your neck, Adam. Son of a bitch, you wanna snap my neck? I am gonna beat your ass! Can't you see? Life is but a dream.
Christian Cage has promised to break the neck of Adam Copeland to end the career of Sting tonight in full gear. But Nigel, our main event tonight for the AEW World Championship. Yes, who will be at the level of the devil or who's got the fight of Jay White? MJF defends the AEW title against the Switchblade. But Tony Schiavone, we've got one more match coming up on Zero Hour. It's the match and the partner that MJF never wanted, but it's MJF and Samoa Joe against the Guns for their ROH World Tag Team Championship. laid out in the center of that locker room. MJF went on an absolute rampage trying to take out not only his opponent tonight, but all the members of Bullet Club Gold. We also found out last night that MJF finally accepted the offer of this man. Let's go back down to the Dapper Yapper. And their opponents first from Huntington Beach, California, wing three. 110 pounds, Samoa Joe! One thing I can say about this now, MJF did not want Samoa Joe as his partner because he does not want to give Samoa Joe another shot at the world title should he beat Jay White tonight. But one thing that I think that MJF can count on, Samoa Joe's a man of his word. And he is going to give it his all in this match. I don't think there's any question about that. And MJF. Even though he didn't want Samoa Joe as his partner, Nigel, perhaps the best option he had, I mean, in the AEW locker room. That was the only option he had. Samoa Joe, the only man who was willing to team with this scumbag. <laughs> to say that the fabulous Kia Forum is Clippers country. Yeah, now it is, but of course, we remember all the great Laker games that were here. Clippers now have this as their practice facility right now. Their brand new arena is just up the road. But anyway, here we go. Concerned look on the face of the AEW and Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. I kind of think he's just. Jeff's mind. I think he's just soaking this in. Now. Oh, just a clubbing oh. right hand. MJF coming out of the gates hot. 
There's no question, MJF is the greatest AEW champion of all time. But the only other thing beyond debate is that at some point, he's going to lose that title. Could be tonight to Switchblade Jay White, or if somehow MJF is able to leave Los Angeles as AEW world champion, it could most certainly be to Samoa Joe. And you see just under a quarter of an hour for Full Gear Live on pay-per-view. Through traditional cable and satellite providers, Bleacher Report, select theaters nationwide, Dave & Buster's locations, Tom's Watch Bar location, internationally on Fight TV, Sky, PPV.com, and YouTube.com. MJF is feeling it here tonight, now feeling the shot to the back of the head. Critical mistake right there, Nigel. Critical you, mistake by MJF. You don't turn your back on your opponent, especially not when your opponent the guns, sun's out in California. Oh, oh look at that. And JF just got an assist from Samoa Joe. I told you, a man of his word, he'll be a great team, for, uh, team partner for you tonight. Hometown hero, Samoa Joe. Originally from Huntington Beach. I don't need your help. Oh, <laughs> he said, I don't need your help. He's going to get it anyway. Joe tagging himself in. MJF needs to be careful here. He's got a lot more to think about than just this one match, Nigel. Horse. Yes, he does. A long night for MJF, but hold on. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Like a refrigerator rolling down a flight of stairs and going out a window. This is exactly why, take a look again, exactly why MJF, my God, that man can fly. MJF was concerned about going against Samoa Joe once again, Nigel, because he can do so many things offensively. So impressive. Former Ring of Honor world champion. He's held more titles. Hold on a second. Look at the way the guns here have divided. Holden looking for a drop kick. Joe avoids it easily and connects with a senton. This is Samoa Joe's house. Oh, coming in with those jabs and Colton Gunn into the corner. The oh. Joe with Yenzi Gary. Not looking up for the guns here tonight. So unquestionably in his wheelhouse here, having a good old time. I think he's already looking ahead to his AEW title match. And remember, Tony, MJF and Adam Cole are still the Ring of Honor. World Tag Team Champions, right? Samoa Joe just filling in on this this one night only special appearance. And as we know that Adam Adam Cole is is on the shelf. He hurt his ankle, hurt his foot severely at double surgery. Yeah, at Grand Slam. And the fact that MJF has made has been able to keep the Ring of Honor Tag Team Titles without an active partner, well, speaks volumes, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. He defended them against uh, members of the Righteous at Wembley Stadium. There's no question that that was a hell of a win for MJF, but now the guns. Boy, you know, Nigel, Austin Gunn really lets those chants bother him. Well, wouldn't you be upset if somebody called you that? What was your nickname at high school, Tony? Well, it was an ass boy, I'll, I'll tell you that. Oh, not what I heard. What a, what a great transition into this. DraftKings is an official partner of AEW, and tonight anyone can play free for $25,000. DraftKings AEW Full Gear Pool. Download the DraftKings app, use code AEW when you sign up and play free tonight. As Colton Gunn, Whoa. looking for the cover there. MJF, I mean, Nigel, he has to be very, very careful in this match because tonight in our full gear main event you can answer multiple choice questions on with DraftKings he is facing a man that's never been pinned or submitted inside an AEW ring in Switchblade Jay White certainly have to be concerned if you are MJF Vegas odds have MJF as a favorite in this matchup but I gotta tell you what might be a good bet Jay White Slingblade Switchblade and the fact he's got uh, the members of the guns with him, of course, as you mentioned earlier, Juice Robinson now injured out apparently, and that television just cut his head. And I'm not so sure if it's a concussion, a neck injury, or what. But certainly the guns will be looking for some payback for that. MJF, clubbing right hand, trying to get over to Samoa Joe. MJF didn't want the tag earlier, but now desperate for it. 
Into the midsection, no. Fulton. Here we go. No. Or excuse me, Austin was sent to the outside. Colton comes in. Austin! There you go, make the tag now. Great quickness, great footwork there by Colton Gunn. Just couldn't get there, man. It was close. MJF could not get there. Of course, the longer this match goes as well, the better it is for the Gunn's bullet club. Leader of, if you will, of Jay White. Oh, no. oh. oh, oh wow. Colton overcommitted. Bandera, whoa! Oh, God. Sends Austin over the top. Very awkward landing on the apron. Yeah, he sure did. Landed. Nothing but air and hope between MJF and making a tag. The guns, once again, looking to prevent as MJF ducks underneath and makes the tag! Man, Samoa Joe. He's unbelievable. Look at this. Manhattan drop. Samoa Joe accelerates. Comes in high with the boot. And power slam. Well executed. Cover. I don't know how Austin got out of that. That was a great pinning combination. Absolutely commanding. And Samoa Joe maybe Whoa. thinking muscle buster here. Oh, oh MJF. Tag. He was going. You're right. He was going for the muscle buster, I think, which could maybe have won the match. Excalibur. Oh, MJF. Oh, he wants to show up his own partner. Uh, this is why no one came to his help on Dynamite at the end and on Wednesday. Colton Gunn, well placed drop kick into the face of MJF. Yeah, that's because MJF, I mean, you, you can't live your life like he has the four past years here in AEW right. without making enemies. And so, oh, he comes. Right, into Yuma. MJF counters. Double DDT. He has alienated so many people with the exception of Adam Cole, his only friend. Uh oh. We're going down under. It's offensive when you say it with that accent, Yes. Yeah. I can tell you, he's going to the kangaroo kick. Oh, no, he's oh, not no. going to get it. He's not going to get it. I do we'll see Samoa Joe do it. Oh, my. These guys need to, these guys need to stop arguing to get to it here. Oh, they are going to get to it. Oh, wait, I think they can, I think it's stereo muscle busters. Oh, <laughs> Joe's got to catch up. Oh, yeah. Nope, guns. Oh, look at that. Escape out to their feet. Joe and MJF sent into one another. MJF taken down Samoa Joe. Isolated and now Joe in and oh, three ten to Yuman Samoa Joe. Oh, but look at Joe. Yeah, Desperately tried to roll to the outside. The cover and MJF with the break. Great job by MJF. I think he was cheating, Tony. Your yes. Now uh, MJF fighting off against Austin Gunn, but. The numbers catching up with him. Samoa Joe still down in the ring. Oh, that 310 to Yuma, that's been historically so dangerous for the guns. And Samoa Joe understandably still trying to recover. Yeah, it's been lights out. It looks like they're gonna may try it again. See? Oh, Joe collapses. What the hell? Come on! It's a tap! Oh, you're kidding me! And our winner for this match, MJF and Samoa Joe! MJF so excited and overwhelmed to see his partner that he didn't even see what happened. I, I didn't even know Adam Cole was cleared to travel. No one expected this. And now the realization sets in for MJF. All right, little hand, and there you go. MJF, a man of his word, he accepted the help of Samoa Joe. And if he leaves Los Angeles as AEW World Champion, 
Samoa Joe will be in line for a shot at Maxwell Jacob Friedman and the title. Oh, what a moment. It's, it's just tremendous. Tony, you know, it's, it's only the zero hour, and I thought the roof was going to come off the floor, but... Yeah, when Adam Cole came in, the roof was going to come off this grand facility. Oh, now Adam Cole's going to get what he deserves. He cost the guns this title. What do you mean, get what he deserves? He came out and he interrupted a match. He had no place being here. That distracted the guns. That's why they lost the match. And now Adam Cole, baby, is going to have to watch his best friend. Oh, this is it. Adam Cole is one half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, but that so doesn't matter. Joe's earned his title opportunity. Oh, he's not going to help him now. This is absurd. Absolutely absurd, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is damn premeditated. It is premeditated. They know. What are you talking they about? Know what How could they coming? know that Adam Cole was coming out here? Win or lose, you know the guns were going to try to soften MJF. Right. Up exactly. the switchblade, Jay White. Oh, look at this. Look at the chair. It's, it's, it's wrapped around the, the knee. The, the ankle. That's, oh, my God. Oh. And there's nothing that Adam Cole can do about it. He's crying like a baby. Did you see the unnatural angle that MJF's foot bent at? Yeah, I think we've got a very serious injury here. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Paul, Paul Turner agrees. Doc Sampson's going to roll in the ring here, we understand. Here he is. This is not... This is... Members of the medical staff have come out. Uh, Pat Buck, who is in our front office, has come out as well. What do we do? I, nothing you and I could do, man. Don't worry, fellas. I'll handle it from here. Oh. The AEW World Champion will have to be stretched out of the ring, which in my mind makes Jay White, if not... The de facto champion, okay. perhaps the AEW champion. Maybe he just needs to be given the title. Okay, hang on just one second. Max has got about, what, three hours or so to get ready? It could take three weeks, I think, by the looks of him. Oh. I mean, we know how serious the, the injury to Adam Cole's ankle was. And absolutely. I hate to see anybody injured as much as the next man. But MJF and Adam Cole asked for this. How did they ask for this? Just by Adam Cole coming by out Adam and Cole celebrating? coming out and interjecting himself in a match he had no place doing, costing the guns, the Ring of Honor tag team titles. You had to expect retribution. Adam, Adam Cole had a vested interest in how, in the outcome of that match. So he did is. the guns. And we see the Ring of Honor, one half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, the AEW World Champion, MJF. Going through the, uh, the tunnels here in the, the, the Kia Forum in Los Angeles. Yeah. We're gonna have to make a call about this, I think. Uh, our security is helpful. Well, there you go. Oh, no. Where's Adam? Adam, look at me! No! No! Adam, look at me! Don't let him take my championship, Adam! Please! Don't let him take my championship! Adam, promise! Adam, promise! I promise! Adam! I promise! Next, you're gonna be okay! You're gonna be okay! Take it away, take it away. What's Adam Cole going to do? And that's what he's saying to himself right now.